Hello guys and uh, welcome back in this new video. Today we are going to backtest a new trading strategy from uh, Andrew's trading channel, Killer Strategy Bolliger Bands plus RSI. He claims that this strategy has an high win rate and he has also some uh, private indicator probably and uh, with a high win rate, 95%. Probably it's not so high. We have already tested this many strategies on this channel, and um, none of them have never had uh, such a win rate. And neither the strategies that I use for my for myself uh, has uh, such a high win rate. But now uh, let's talk about the strategy. But before I remember you that if you want to try my software, you want to backtest your strategy, or you want more info about it. Let me know by writing an email that I will leave uh, at the mail that I will leave in the description or let me know in the comments. But now uh, let's talk about the strategy. I'm backtesting it uh, on these forex pairs uh, and on the five minute uh, interval time frame. If you want me to backtest uh, future strategies uh, on different uh, symbols uh, or in, on different uh, time frame interval, let me know in the comments. So let's watch together some example. For example, this one on the USD CAD. So it was here. As you can see, we have um, we are here we have a short position. So in order to open a short position, you have to check that a candle closes above the Bollinger band up. Then you have to check that the RSI is above 75. The previous candle, and then you have to check that the last bearish candle closes below the last low of the last uh, uh, bullish uh, candle. And as you can see, in this case, it was a fail with a risk reward ratio of, of one, and the stop loss is set to, to be the ATR multiplied by two. Let's see another example. For example, this one on the GPP USD, it was a long position. So it's here. As you can see, we have uh, uh, some candles that closes below the Bollinger Bands low. Then we have the RSI that is uh, below 25. And then we have that the last bullish candle closes below above the last IG of uh, the last uh, uh, bearish candle. And this in this case it was a fail again. Let's reveal the basic results of this strategy. So it is here and as you can see this strategy doesn't perform really well. It has an IG, uh, it has an average such as rate of 49.60, not enough to be profitable because it should be 50%, then it's not profitable without commission and with commissions, and it's not statistically profitable as well. These are some of the trades that my software has taken from 2020 to 2023. But now let's try to improve the strategy with the statistical analysis. I have already downloaded the trades and um, yeah, let's take a look if we can improve the strategy. The first criteria is to understand if it is more a, a bullish or bearish strategy. Here we have the number of buy suches, buy fails, sell suches and sell fails. And uh, it seems uh, to be uh, neither a bullish strategy, neither a um, bearish strategy. So it almost break even in uh, almost uh, bullish and bearish trades. And um, the other criteria that I use to improve the strategy is by analyzing the DMP and DMN in order to check uh, for a crossover of these two indicators in the last data in which I'm changing the interval here. And I found that if you have checked for 8 plus 1, so 9 candles before for at least one DMP DMN crossover, the average such as rate would have been 58. And for the sell trades, it could have been 53. So we have already we have improved the strategy, but um, I will take into consideration uh, the bullish and bearish trades because um, the long and, and short trades because 
the number of trades is very low and we have to make it statistically profitable. So I have already added these two criteria here and here. And um, let's run again the strategy and um, let's see how it performs. Now we let's see if we have improved uh, the strategy. As you can see, the new average success rate is uh, 57. The strategy is not uh, statistically profitable, but uh, it, it is almost, uh, but uh, for the purpose of the video, it's not statistically profitable, but it's uh, profitable with commission and without commissions. No, it profits uh, considering that uh, it was in the last three years. But uh, for the purpose of the video, let's try anyway to run the strategy on the test data set I remember you that the test data set are the most recent data from 2023 to 2024 and uh, let's see if uh, this strategy uh, is uh, still profitable or not as you can see the strategy is profitable with commission and without commission with an average success rate of 52 that it is in the confidence interval that we have calculated before but uh, yeah not big profits here so in conclusion i would say that uh, this strategy is not profitable as it claims and uh, i suggest you to pay attention to all uh, the people who suggest you to try uh, they their indi private indicator with type win rate or they group uh, pay attention because uh, sometimes it's not true and uh, also the strategies that uh, they share on on YouTube or, or on any social media could not be profitable as they claim so pay attention because you can lose uh, money by um, by listening to the tips of these. Uh, youtube gurus traders or what you want i remember you that these are not financial advice and um, this video it was only for entertainment purpose uh, pay attention the strategy may not perform well in the future like it did in the past so for today is all see you in the next video bye